Hello guys, this is the last video of this series and this video I'm gonna go with the final step of solving 3x3 color cube. If you haven't watched my previous steps videos, links in the description, go and watch them first and then join us in this step. So in the last video we have done the first two layers of the Rubik's cube. So in this video I'll go with the third layer. So after completing the first two layer, you may find a lot of color combination and some uh, conditions like this and this. So here is a condition. I named this condition as dot condition. And here is also a condition like this L condition. And there is a straight condition and that is this one. So where is all of the three condition? There is a same formula. So we will apply that uh, formula on this dot condition because if we will apply the formula on this dot condition, we will get the L condition and we will get the straight line condition. So in dot condition, it doesn't matter that how we hold the cube. We can hold the cube like this or this or as well as like this. So let's suppose I hold the cube like this. So let's apply the formula. Front right, right up, up left, right down, up right, and front left. So guys, as you can see, here is the L condition. So in this condition, we have to apply the same formula, but we have to hold the cube like this. One end of the L should be towards us, and the other end of the L should be towards our right hand. So let's apply the formula. Front right, right up, up left, right down, up right, and from left so guys as you can see here we have the straight line condition so in this condition we have to apply the same formula but we have to hold the cube like this one end of the straight line should be in our left hand and the other end of the straight line should be in our right hand so let's apply the formula front right right up up left right down up right and front left so as applying the formula we have some more conditions like this condition and this condition and we may get plus condition as well as we may get the fish condition so for all of these conditions we have to apply the same formula so i will apply the formula on this condition because if i apply the formula on this condition We'll get the fish condition and the plus condition as well as this condition. So let's apply the formula. So to apply the formula, we have to hold the cube like this, or we can also hold the cube like this. So let's suppose I hold the cube like this. So let's apply the formula. Right up, upright, left up, up left, right down, upright, and left down. So guys, as you can see, we have again the same formula. So we will apply the same formula again, like this, right up, up right, left up, up left, right down, up right, and left down. So guys, as you can see, we have got this condition, this and this condition are same. So in this condition, we have to hold the cube like this, that the yellow button should point towards us. So let's apply the same formula, right up, up right, left up, up left, right down, up right, and left down. So guys, as you can see, now we have the plus condition. So in this condition, we have to look at the yellow corners button that where are those same so here those are same so in this condition we have to hold the cube like this but you can see here they are also same so we can hold the cube like this or as well as like this so i will hold the cube like this and let's apply the formula right up up right left up up left right down up right and left down so guys as you can see here we have the fish condition so in this condition we have to hold the cube like this and apply the same formula as we did to previous conditions right up 
up, right, left, up, up, left, right, down, and up, right, and left, down. After applying the formula, the cube may be complete or you may found this condition. So here is a condition. I will apply the same formula as on this cube to get some more condition. So guys, I have applied the same formula in this cube and here I have got this condition. So in this condition, we have to look at the corners button that where are the same. So okay, here are the same. And if there were no any same corners button, we can hold the cube as we want like this and apply the formula. But here are same corners button. So we will attach them to its center like this. And we will keep this opposite to ourselves like this and apply the formula right down front right, right down, back two time right, right up, front left, right down, back two time right, and right two time down. So guys, as you can see, now we have got this condition. So we will attach the corners button to its center like this. Now we have got a complete surface in here. So in this condition, we have to keep the uh, big cube like this the complete surface should be in our left hand but if there was not any complete surface but all of the corners button were same so at that time we can keep the cube as we want so like at that time we can keep the cube like this or like this like this but here it is this condition so in this condition we have to keep the cube like this and the complete surface should be in our left hand and apply the formula so let's apply the formula. Right two times up, up right, front right, back right, right two times up, front left, back left, and up right, and right two times left. So guys, as you can see, our cube is complete. So I will solve this cube by applying the same formula. So guys, as you can see here, the two corners buttons are same. So we'll attach them to its center like this. And we will keep this opposite to ourself and apply the formula which I did previously. Right down, front right, right down, back two time right, right up, front left, right down, back two time right, and right two times down. So guys, as you can see, now we have got this condition. So in this condition, we have to attach the corners button to its center like this. So here the corners buttons are attached to its center like this. And here one surface is complete. So as I told you previous that we have to keep the surface in our left hand to solve the cube. So we will do that again. We'll keep the complete surface in our left hand and apply the formula. Right two times up, up right, front right, back right, right two times up, front left, back left, up right, right two times down. So after applying the formula, there is not any change. So we will apply that again to complete the cube. Right two times up, up right front right, back right, right two times up, front left, back left, and up right, and right two times down. So your guys, he, here we have a complete Rubik's Cube. So we are done with 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. So hope you enjoyed this series, guys. If you did, please give a thumbs up and give your feedback about this series in the comment section. And do subscribe to my channel and never forget to hit the bell icon.